Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use a Neo 6M GPS sensor with any of the Raspberry Pi. So we will use Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 0 and also we will see how to write a simple Python code to process the GPS data. So let's get started. So let's first talk about the hardware part. So here I have a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Also you can use Raspberry Pi 0 and a new 6M GPS module and a few jumper wires. Okay, so let's first talk about the new 6M sensor. So as you can see, there is, here is the VCC pin, here is the RX pin, TX pin and GND pin. So we need to connect the VCC with the 5V of Raspberry Pi TX with the RX of Raspberry Pi because it will transmit the data and Raspberry Pi will receive the data and GND with the GND with Raspberry Pi. Now we don't need to connect the RX of uh, this module because this module is not going to receive anything. Also one thing to mention here is a blue LED light actually. So after powering it up, it, the blue light will uh, blink when it will receive the data. So before writing any code, make sure that the blue light is blinking. Okay, so here I am just going to connect the jumper wires so i am going to connect the red one with the vcc black one with the ground and this orange wire with uh, the tx so as you can see i have connected three wires vcc tx and gnd now let's talk about the raspberry pi so in both pi 0 and pi 3 here it is the 5 volts this one also 5 volts, the third one is ground, the fourth one is um, TX and the fifth one is RX. Okay, so we don't need the TX one because our Raspberry Pi is not going to transmit anything to the module. So here just connect the jumper wires. So as you can see. I have connected the PCC of the module to the 5 volts, the ground of the module to the ground and the TX of the module to the RX of Raspberry Pi. Okay. So this is the connection in case of Raspberry Pi and uh, here you can see in the GPS module. Okay, so this is all about the connection and here you can see the clear diagram of the connection. So we are already done with the hardware part. Now let's talk about the software one. So basically before we do anything, we need to connect to our Raspberry Pi. So to do so, uh, there are several ways basically. So you can just connect your Raspberry Pi to a HDMI cable. In that case, you will get a screen like this. Here I am using VNC viewer, but if you just connect it to HDMI cable, you will also get a same screen. So if you are using a direct HDMI cable, you go here and open the terminal. And now here you can just write all the codes and commands I am going to use. Or if you doesn't have a HDMI cable, in that case you can use PuTTY. So if you are using PuTTY, you just open it and here you write Raspberry Pi dot local and uh, here port 22, so Raspberry Pi dot local and port 22 and open. And you will get a prompt like login as the default username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Now I am already logged in here. So here I am going to use PuTTY for the whole demonstration, but obviously you can use HDMI too. In that case, the process is almost same. So let's get started. So before we uh, get the data from the uh, GPS sensor, we need to set up few things. So first thing we need to do is we need to sudo nano boot and config.txt. So we need to edit this file. Now, if you open this, it's a very large file. So you go at the end of the file, and here, as you can see, so here we have to add few lines. So I'm not going to write this direct. So I'll just copy it from here. So basically, this is our website, and I will just put the link in the description. You go there, and here everything is written, and you just copy the code from here, so that you don't need to write it, and then just paste it at the end of the file. So just right click in the mouse if you are using PuTTY and it will be pasted. So just paste it and then press Ctrl X, then Y and press Enter. And now it's saved. 
Now the second thing is there's also another problem which is Raspbian OS basically uses the UART as serial console. So we need to turn off that functionality so so that we can use our GPS sensor. Okay, so now to do so we need to change a file called cmdline.txt. Now before changing cmdline.txt we should make a backup of it for just safety purposes. So just write sudo cb um, boot and cmdline.txt and this is the name of the original file and now we will make a backup at cmdline back or backup. So this is the original file which is boot cmdline.txt and we will make a backup uh, named as cmdlinebackup.txt. Okay. So that if anything goes wrong, we can back to this. So press enter and it will be done. Now we can uh, edit this. So sudo nano and then just take this one and yeah. So this is a single line uh, code basically. So here this is the part console is equal to serial uh, 0, 115200. So you need to just uh, what you can do, you can just remove this part and save this file, or what you can do, you can just remove. Uh, delete everything from this file. So I'm going to do this. So here I am just removing everything. So I have removed everything from the file, and now you just go to our site, and from there you will get the code here. You just copy the code from here and come here and paste it. Okay. So now done. Now Control X Y and Enter. Now this step is also done. Now we are ready to test our uh, GPS sensor. So before testing this out, make sure that uh, your the blue LED in the GPS sensor is blinking because the blinking of blue LED basically means that our GPS sensor is receiving data. Okay, so make sure the blue LED is blinking. We do this, we need to reboot it once. Okay, except that it is not going to work. So just let sudo reboot and uh, it will take few seconds to reboot this. Okay. So just wait for a few seconds and then just log in again. So raspberrypi.local port 22, open it and log in with the same credentials. And now we are into it. Now we are ready to check our GPS sensor. So to do so, you just write sudo cat dev tty ama0. So here the name of the port is actually tty ama0. And you click here and you will get this data, a lot of data actually. So you press Ctrl C to stop this and now just look into the data. So there are several tags here, GP, every tag is start with GP and there are several tags. So if we just consider GP GGL, we are basically bordered with this tag. So actually it consists of latitude and longitude. So as you can see, uh, this is the data. This is a raw data. We need to parse it to get the uh, formatted text actually. Uh, if you want to know the meaning of this text, you can go to this site. Okay, and here you will get all the details like GPGGL. If you search, it basically means geographic position, latitude, longitude. Okay, so we are going to use GPGGL. So, what we will do uh, in Python, we will just uh, get the serial data, then find the GG. Uh, GPGGL line and then we'll parse the data. Okay, so we have a library in Python using which we're gonna do this, so don't need to worry. So now we know our sensor is working properly. Now we can write the Python code. So before we write the Python code, we need to change uh, another thing actually, which is uh, uh, basically Raspberry Pi uses a serial port for console login. So if we want to use the serial port to get the GPS data, so we need to disable the console login okay so if you don't get it it's okay we just need to use few commands so just press ls l dev okay and you will get a long list here find serial 0 and serial 1 so serial 0 and serial 1 as you can see so they are the two ports and always remember serial 0 is the port which is connected to the GPIO 14 and 15 so basically the ports where the tx and rx is so we need to use serial 0 but as you can see, serial 0 is connected to TY AMA0. So we need to disable this one. Okay, so there are a few cases where serial 0 is connected with TTY S0 in Raspberry Pi 2, I believe. Uh, but in Raspberry Pi 3, serial 0 is connected, always connected with TTY AMA0. So we need to disable TTY AMA0. Now, to disable this, we have to use two commands. Now, uh, 
the commands are okay i just copying the commands they are quite long i think and uh, as you can see these are the two commands so i'm not writing it to save the time and uh, don't know okay so this is the command sudo system ctl stop serial get e and here's the tty a and a0 so we are disabling this uh actually stopping the service so press enter and it will be done now another uh, we have to do another thing which is you just copy uh sorry copy this one or to copy and yeah like this so you just copy the previous line here and then you just instead of stop you write disable sorry disable and press enter and it's done now we are ready to write the python code okay so make sure that you have executed these two commands ex uh, except that it's not going to work so let's write the python code and i'm just going to write it in notepad so that you can see it easily and uh, just open notepad and here i am just going to explain you the code so again i'm just going here to save the time and testing it here so as you can see it's a very small code actually now okay uh here one library is needed which is my in ea2 so make sure you have installed that so pip install my in ea2 and it's gonna take some time so when it's installing let's write the uh, yes let's i let me explain the code so at the first line, I am just importing serial to so that we can get the serial data. We are importing time. We are importing string because we need to process few strings. And finally, we need to importing pi in mea2. So pi in mea2 is a basically a parser library in Python using which we are generally parse in in ea data. So I'm not going to uh, explain you what in mea stuffs are, but uh, basically it's used to parse. Okay. So fine. And here we are just making an infinite loop so that it would it will just uh, uh, show us the GPS data until we just stop the program. Now we are defining the port as the PTY AMA0, and as you can see, it's PTY AMA0. And in our last command, we have just disabled that. Okay, so that's why we have to disable that because we are going to use that in our program. Okay, now we are making a serial object using dot serial dot serial. We are defining the ports at uh, this one PTY AMA0. Baud rate is nine six zero zero and. Uh, in my case, I am giving the time of timeout 0 0.5, but uh, you can give it as you need. Okay. So, and then we have a data out object, basically a pi enemy to enemy a streamer, stream reader object. So, stream reader basically means that uh, if you just go to our console, these are the data, these are the stream data basically. So, enemy a reader will read the streams of the data. Okay. That's why we need to make an object of that one because we need to, we are going to read all this data. Now we have made this object, and finally we are reading the serial read. Uh, so serial dot read line basically means that it will read lines from the serial connection. So basically, it will read each of the lines one by one. And after reaching the line, we will see that if the first five characters are GP, okay, uh, I have used GP RMC, but you can GP GGL, okay, that's not a big deal. So uh, we are going to use GP GGL on I think sorry GP GLL I think not GGL GP GLL. So, and uh, as you can see here, GP, uh, GLL, yes, geographic and position. So, uh, we are going to use GP, GLL, and we are checking if the new data is GP, GLL. So, what makes the, uh, like, as you can see, the first five, 0 to 6, so Python doesn't include 6, so 0 to 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, when the line starts with GP, GLL, then we are going to pass the data. So, basically, we are grabbing each of the lines then we are checking if the first five characters are gpgll then we are going to parse this line now how we are going to parse this uh, we are just taking a new variable new message and here we are parsing it to pi enemy to dot parse function and then from that new message we can easily get the latitude and longitude attribute okay and we are saving this in latitude and long lat and lng so now in lat and lng we have the latitude and longitude data so they are generally float data. So while printing, uh, actually I'm concatenating it so that it looks good. Like I am uh, GPS is equal to latitude is equal to, I'm just doing this so that it looks good. Okay. And that's why I'm converting the float values into in uh, string so that it concatenate. And finally I am printing it. Okay. So it's quite easy. 
now just copy it and come here and uh, make a new file nano gps.py and the code is written in python 2 because raspberry pi generally comes default with python 2 but easily you can write in python 3 so saving it and now let's run it with python gp gps.py and and as you can see we are getting the data latitude is equal to this and longitude is equal to this okay so as you can see in few seconds our gps sensor has gave us a lots of data and it's not going to stop until we just press console control c and stop the program so as you can see the here the latitude and longitude isn't changing because i am not moving the device so but if you just move the device you will see that the latitude and longitude will change so in this video we have learned how to connect a raspberry pi with new 6 and gps sensor how to uh, set up the things how to write a python code to get the data and in the next video we will see how to make a live gps tracker using this device so basically you can track this device from anywhere in the world so for that please subscribe to our channel like our videos and thank you very much for watching so see you in the next video